What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're going to be breaking down how to make difficult catches. So we're going to be talking about the key thing that you guys got to be able to do when you're making these catches in traffic, diving catches, throws over the shoulder that are sometimes putting you in an awkward position. This is going to make you a much better pass catcher if you focus on this key thing, okay? But also, fellas, if you guys want some drills to work on your hands, you want specific grip strengthening drills, hand-eye coordination drills, 30 days worth of 30-day catching program, check out that very first link in the description. No quarterback necessary, so if you guys don't have a quarterback to throw to you but you desperately need to improve your hands you want to be a consistent pass catcher this is for you check out that very first link in the description it's a 30-day program designed to improve your hands hope we get you guys on that soon let's get started so first throw we're going to be looking at here is from Braxton Miller so we're going to be talking about how he's able to make this catch almost falling down right so the main key that I can give you is right we've all heard the catching mechanics like you want to be in the diamond where your thumbs are connected or you want to flip your hands when it's a lower throw like this and keep your pinkies connected quote unquote but the main thing that a lot of people don't stress especially around these about these difficult catches is your eyes. Your eyes is what makes this catch, right? So when this ball's coming in, you see how Miller all the way to the catch, those eyes are following it. This is like a perfect picture frame catch right now. If you were to go in like inside of his mind, inside of his eyes, whatever, the only thing in his line of vision would be this football. That's the main key. That, that only thing, like you're, you see like a picture frame, like a portrait of somebody, they're the only thing inside the frame, right? Like a school picture, maybe whatever, whatever you want to think of, but they're the only thing inside the frame. It's not the ball and then it's not his cleat over here. It's not the defender over here. It's the ball. That's what's inside of his line of frame. And he tracks this thing all the way in. He's let, he sees it hit his hands. That's what you guys got to get in that consistent habit of doing. Now, everybody says like, oh, well, you're worried too much about the ball. You're going to get clock going over the middle. It's like, no shit. It's the, ha it's the habit that you're trying to build. You're trying to build a good habit over and over again. Anytime you're warming up, you're focused on looking that thing in. So when you're in the game going over the middle, and maybe it's not so much a difficult catch, you just track that thing with your eyes and it's like split second. You're already off. You tuck this thing away and we go. But these difficult catches, you catch with with your eyes first, okay? So now let's play at full speed. Then we're gonna take a look at an over the shoulder catch where the same principle applies, okay? So now double coverage right here. Ball's gonna be an awkward throw. It's coming back towards the sideline. He has to fade with it. But again, we're gonna be talking about his eyes on this thing, right? Even you see here, this ball's thrown behind his head. He's still tracking. He's still keeping his eyes on it. He doesn't have his eyes. He's not looking over here at the defender and then kind of looking at the ball. His, his eyes are solely on the ball because that's what he's repped and that's what he's worked on over and over and over again. That's what we got to be able to get into. And you see, even over the shoulder, what does he do? He sees this thing hit his hands. That's the phrase that I like to use with my receivers. You want to see the ball hit your hands. Get right into those fingertips so you can put this thing away and make sure that we secure it. Because none of this other shit matters. The route running doesn't matter. What you do after the catch doesn't matter if we don't finish the play, right? If we don't finish the actual route, because he did a great job getting separation. Two defenders trailing him. We got to make sure that we finish the play. And your eyes are how you become a way more consistent pass catcher and how you make those difficult catches. So trust your eyes. Focus on something when you're warming up with your quarterback, whatever. Focus on like the stripe of the ball. Focus on if you see when you tuck the ball away, tell yourself you see laces or no laces. Something in your head, some kind of trigger that helps you focus and helps your eyes focus on the balls. Watch this thing again full speed one more time. Great job making this catch over the top by this receiver. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave those in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And again, if you guys want to improve your hands, specific grip strengthening exercises and hand-eye coordination drills, that's how you improve Grants and repetition drills if you have a quarterback. This plan is for people who have a quarterback to throw to them and people who don't have a quarterback to throw to them. We have two separate alternate alternate plans within this 30-day catching program. Hope we get you guys on that soon. Again, very first link in the description. I'll see you guys next time.